the time has come. We are taking my sister's little rig on its maiden voyage. I'm towing my trailer, she's towing her trailer, and we are going out for a fun camping trip. My sister Jill had a vision to turn her old cargo trailer into a camper. She would invest in the materials and I would do the labor. Neither of us had any experience building out a cargo trailer or anything for that matter. Now that vision has become a reality. Waking up to a beautiful morning after a bit of a challenging start yesterday, but more on that later. from beautiful Escalante, Utah. I lost you guys yesterday because when we got to camp, there was a major windstorm. Winds were gusting up to close to 50 miles per hour. When we got to this campsite, dust was flying everywhere. Sand was flying everywhere. It took a lot of work just to get our rigs set up. And then we just kind of hunkered down, went for a short drive, came back and went to bed. This morning, the winds are nice and calm. I think they'll pick up a little bit more later. So we're gonna get some cooking done outside this morning. My sister slept in her rig for the first time last night. She said she had a really good night's sleep. She had birdie in there. We have an area for her crate. She's crate trained, so she does like to sleep in her crate. So I'll show you that later. Uh, but yeah, it was an overall great first night. This place has sentimental value to me because it's one of the first places I camped in my truck camper. It's one of the first places I camped in my travel trailer. And it's now my sister's very first place that she camped in her converted cargo trailer. We plan to get out exploring today and uh, I have a beautiful area that I wanna show my sister. So it's gonna be a great day after we have a nice breakfast. So my sister brought this beastly griddle. It's awesome. Cook up our breakfast on. Of course, the wind is already starting to kick up. We've had to resort to plan B because the wind started kicking up. It's a cold wind. The griddle wasn't getting hot. It was blowing the flame. So we are cooking inside. Luckily, we do have a plan B. Yeah. Breakfast turned out awesome, even though we didn't get to cook it on the griddle as planned. Got the dishes cleaned up, my sister's in her trailer changing, and we're getting ready to head out on the day's adventure. We 
are already seeing some fantastic views this morning. We are headed towards Boulder, Utah and the Burr Trail Road. Utah's Burr Trail is a 67-mile scenic drive between Boulder and Bullfrog into some of the state's most beautiful and extraordinary country. We made a pit stop for a short little jaunt into Singing Canyon. Took a little stroll through Singing Canyon. Very pretty. My sister commented how it's very beautiful here. She compared it to Zion. I agree. If you ever pass by the Sinclair in Boulder, Utah, stop into the Mini Mart. They have re really eclectic array of items, groceries, and little stickers, and just unique things that you wouldn't imagine a Mini Mart to have. Very cool. Mm -hmm. After grabbing a few items at the Mini Mart for dinner, we decided to go ahead and head back to camp.
We are back here at camp. My sister and Birdie are taking a nap in their little cozy cargo trailer. And I am just taking shelter from the wind. <laughs> when we first pulled back up here to camp, I thought, oh, it's really not as bad. And it's really not as bad as yesterday. However, there still are some gusts. A huge gust came up and blew my hat off and it was flying away into the dirt. I had to clean it off a little bit before I put it back on. Besides the wind, it is an absolutely stunningly gorgeous day. It started out a little bit overcast, but now it's these beautiful white puffy clouds. I couldn't have asked for a more gorgeous day. My sister loved that drive. She was just in awe. It's so beautiful. It's, I think, the second time I've done that drive. Just just gorgeous. My sister does tire very easily after cancer recovery and some of the other health issues that were related to that. And she also has uh, mobility issues and physical limitations. So she does get tired very easy. So this is just a mellow adventure. It's not one of my big hiking, epic backpacking trip adventures because we had a kind of go easy on my sis, but she is just absolutely loving it. I'm so proud of her that she did that little hike through Singing Canyon. Oh my gosh, that's little baby steps like that are just huge for her. For those of you who don't know, and if it's your first time watching, I live full time in a 21 foot travel trailer and I just built out a little six by 10 cargo trailer for my sister so she could get out camping and enjoy the great outdoors with very little setup. And this is its maiden voyage. Uh, maybe we'll get her to talk on camera a little bit about it later and see what her thoughts are on it so far. But I can tell you right now, she's loving it. A little bit of things to get used to. We have noticed that the uh, weather stripping around the door needs to be redone because she did get some dirt in the cargo trailer uh, through the front door. The back door, I sealed off really well, but the front door we need to do a little bit of work on, but that's what shakedown missions are about, is to find these things out. I think that we'll be cooking dinner inside tonight again because it is still windy. I'd hope to spend a lot more time outside on this trip at camp, however, it's just a little too windy to even attempt to cook, but we are going to cook up a yummy dinner. We bought a few ingredients over at that mini mart to add to it. It's gonna be really good. I'll wait till they wake up, and until then, I'm just gonna chill out. What you doing, Birdie? Birdie wants to go outside, but we're not gonna let her go when she's by herself. We're making dinner, and she will just run off into the desert. So what we are making tonight is a little kind of Mexican taco salad. This is what we bought at the mini mart. We got these yummy looking tortilla chips. And then we also got this salsa. And uh, we are defrosting the ground beef in the microwave right now because it froze in my refrigerator. My refrigerator is so cold. I'm gonna put that all together. It should be really yummy. All right, we've got some ground beef here that I have seasoned and I'm continuing to season with some Mexican seasoning. And then we've got our refried beans in the back. Okay, so we're just gonna build this plate with some tortilla chips on the bottom. We were going to make tostadas, but we forgot the tostada shells, so we improvised. And next is salad. And this is a Mexican style salad. Topping it with our seasoned ground beef. And voila, and a little bit of salsa on top and that's gonna do it. We picked these up at the mini mart as well and this is dessert. You got dust flying off, you like pig pen. You are like pig pen. <laughs> Everybody, this is my sister, Jill. She does exist. She's very camera shy. She's not like me. She doesn't like to be on camera. But she was willing to say a few words about what she thought about her camper so far after living in it one night. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to her. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for the wonderful comments, the words of encouragement, prayer, well wishes. Um, they, I believe in the power of prayer. And I believe I feel all the prayers and every day is better. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. So let me talk a little bit about my first night in the trailer. First of all, I feel like it was insulated so well. It was kind of cold this morning, 
but I was no colder than Catherine in her trailer. Right. So um, I was able to n run no heat until early this morning and I was warm under my covers and my dog Birdie was warm in her crate. I love the layout. At first it was going to be a different layout, but that layout, I can see out the door. I, I just, I love it. I can, the way the light hits the bed, it's very relaxing in there. I couldn't be happier. I, I really couldn't be happier. It's just what I need. Yeah, we just need to do a little bit of adjustments to the door like I was talking about earlier and get that really weather sealed and, and possibly a new door with the, like yeah. an RV door with a screen, but you know, little steps. Yeah, and I did hear a lot of people mention getting a screen and we did buy one of those magnetic screens. However, that door is so small, it was way too big and I thought of even just using one paneling, but then the one paneling was too small, so. I also have concerns of those because of my balance. If anything was to get under my feet while I'm stepping down the stairs, mm -hmm. so I need to do this as safely as possible because uh, I can be a little bit off balance yeah and i think that in the long run if she's wanting to use it a lot which i think she will be after this weekend yeah i think she feels very comfortable in it she towed it up by herself it. first I, time towing first time towing i have towed a fifth wheel trailer before but i had a co-pilot and um i just it wasn't me on my own so this was me on my own and yes it, it went really well. Yeah, and so I think that she does, you know, because she will want to use it a lot, that getting a real door on there and, yes, you know, with that, not this lock that we, situation we have on the outside and everything right now. So um, that'll be down the road, but yeah, I'd yeah. say a successful first mission. We're going to, you know, Birdie another... slept all night yes. in her crate. She loves her crate. You can't get her No, comfortable. she will not not sleep in her crate. No. <laughs> in fact, she was trying to open the door to the crate herself to get in it. So, <laughs> Yeah, so we'll uh, be spending the night here again tonight and enjoying a second night in our yeah. respective trailers. And it's been awesome so far. We just wished it wasn't so windy. It is what it is. We're out here. We're making the best of it. And a little sand isn't changing. Never hurt anyone. <laughs> Nobody died, as my friend Martina would say. Hi, Martina. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for talking, Jill. I know you're, you're not, welcome. You and know, thank you, everybody. You. Anyway, back to uh, camping. <laughs>pretty much packed up and ready to go we had a great time i think jill really loves her new rig her new little converted cargo trailer she said again this morning how much she loved everything and how she wouldn't change a thing we just got to get that weather stripping or the door situation figured out but other than that she absolutely loved it I love just spending this time with her. I'm so excited that she can now join me occasionally on the road or we can meet up for camping trips. And I think we're gonna be creating a lot of fun memories with her little rig and my little rig. I thank you all so much for joining me. I really appreciate you coming along. As always, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next adventure. See you soon, bye-bye.